Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing my January favorites of the year 2023. I'm really excited to share with you some great finds that I found this past month. We have a bunch of different categories for today's video that range from food to beauty to home office supplies. So if you have a specific category in mind that you'd wanna jump to, just feel free to check out the timestamps below. But other than that, let's get started. We have to start with food. Are we surprised? Anyways, one of my favorite things to do every morning is make my coffee. And I used to be a very big iced coffee girl, but nowadays I've actually transitioned more into having a nice hot cup of coffee. And I recently found this specific brand. It's Henry's House Coffee. It's an Armenian type of coffee that was recommended to me and my family when we were at the store. I think you can find it in your local global world market or any type of grocery store that sells international type of brands, but it is one of the best coffees that I've ever had in my entire life. It is so rich, it is so flavorful, but it doesn't ever feel or taste too bitter when you drink it. I love making it because it's just a very, very well produced coffee it's i also get it in the extra fine finely grounded version so it's easier to make if you have a coffee maker and then you can easily just ensure that everything is concentrated and that your coffee isn't too watery in the morning i usually like to mix this in with a vanilla sweet cream or some type of you know peppermint mocha situation sometimes even almond milk is fine or sometimes i mix in a little bit of like my protein shake from premier protein but it's a great great and amazing cup of joe and i highly recommend it to everyone around me my best friend loves it so feel free to check it out i will try to leave a link to it down below another one of my food favorites is costco's stir fry teriyaki udon noodle dish i don't even know if that's the exact titling that they use for this meal but it is so easy to make it is one of my favorite meals to make and it tastes so good i usually make it just exactly how the instructions describe you to make it but then I will add a little bit of sesame seed oil at the end to give it more of that just fragrant and more of that teriyaki meat sesame oil type of stir fry flavoring but really on its own it's also really great my only issue with it is that it doesn't really have a great source of protein because it's just the noodles dried up vegetables and the sauce so i love adding tofu to it i think tofu is the perfect addition to this meal which is really easy to make if you really think about it because all you got to do is cut up some tofu throw it in with your noodles and your whole sauce and the entire concoction basically is an amazing meal that's super easy to make costco obviously provides you with so many quantities of the meal itself and it's just great if you're feeling lazy to cook something but don't want to go out or spend the money to eat out so highly recommend still have been eating this pretty much every single day of my life moving on to podcasts this is a random 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 category but i listen to a lot of podcasts and there are two specifically that i have been listening to a lot lately um my main ones are the house of herbie podcast and if you don't know it's queen herbie and jedi nick who were formerly known as the band carmen I'm a doing a capella. Yeah, that Carmen. They are back and they have rebranded and they're amazing and they've grown up with us and their podcast is really, really inspiring if you're also an artist. A lot of my work and inspiration comes from them. They are my muse. Get it? Because her new EP is the muse. No? Okay. <clears throat> Um, she is really great for you to get started if you just want to even find a sense of purpose in your life. It doesn't have to be anything creative, but she really fosters sort of this permission to go out and figure yourself out and figure out your passions and what drives you. So really recommend that podcast. They are on season two currently as of the beginning of 2023. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of season two. The second podcast that I listen to the most, especially in the car, because it's a very therapeutic, just soul 
warming type of listen is the Man Enough podcast from Wayfair Studios. I've been a big fan of this podcast since it first came out and I've really been following it closely since its release. It's an amazing, honest, open, vulnerable, visceral discussion about masculinity and toxic masculinity, but also in how it relates to women, gender, race folks of all different kinds of backgrounds, and it really does restore my faith in humanity a little bit. Justin Baldoni is an amazing producer and an amazing host. Same with Liz Plank and Jamie Heath. I'm a big fan of all three of them. And one day, hey, I'm just putting it out there, I would love to be a guest on that podcast. But for now, I am just an avid, true fan and listener and i highly recommend it if you haven't listened to it yet some memorable episodes are sam baldoni seeing dad as fully human a look the urgent need for compassion women leading movements with black lives matter founder alicia garza and dr gabor mate understanding men and their trauma Moving on to beauty, I have really been loving the NYX lip liner in the shade Moonwalk. I love the color. I mentioned this in my Get Ready With Me video, but I do like it because it's a little bit darker than my normal lip color. And I'm kind of wearing it right now, but it, it sits nicely, I think, especially if you're more of a warmer undertone or you're a little bit tanner. I think it's good to kind of help contour your lips and make them stick out because a lot of the times I'll have issues with my lip liner matching too much or being a little too pink and then it kind of just fades away so i really like this lip liner i've been using it for a hot minute and i do recommend it i have been using the bu retinol night serum for youth recovery and blemish defense it's a long title essentially it's a serum it's a retinol serum I, again I'm turning 25 there's a lot going on in my skin. <clears throat> we need to take every preventative step we can to make our skin be happy and healthy and glowing. So I really like this product. I got it, I think, at Target. Um, really recommend it. It's not too strong. It doesn't feel too drying when you put it on. I like to do a thin layer of moisturizer before applying it. But other than that, it's really simple and easy and I don't have to think too much when I put it on. And that's really important to me nowadays when it comes to skincare so highly recommend in relation to beauty we're going to move on a little bit to hair care hair care has kind of been sort of a focus of mine towards the end of 2022 and leading up to 2023 because i have dyed my hair a couple of times over the past couple of years and it's kind of taken a beating i recently dyed it blonde with I mainly got blonde highlights, but um, I had to dye it back to my natural hair color because of headshots and audition season. I do miss my natural hair. It's just so much more easier to maintain and upkeep than having blonde highlights, but it has, you know, it's taken its beating. It's a little, she's a little shy today. I like to throw on some Moroccan oil. I got this from Sephora. I got the mini version because um, I wanted to try it out for the first time and I really do love it. If I could buy the bigger version of it, I will next time, but it's just a great treatment. I throw this on, especially after I wash my hair and it's damp, I will grab just a pea size amount and work it through mainly the middle and ends of my hair. And once it dries, it actually leaves a really nice shine and makes my hair feel super smooth and soft and just baby-like and, I don't know, there's something really um, refreshing about having nice and new rejuvenated hair like that, especially if you've been dyeing it so much or putting heat on it too much. So really, really love this product. I truly use it every single time I wash my hair. Another hair care favorite is the Miel, Miel? I hope I'm saying this right. The Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I know people on TikTok <laughs> I've been going crazy for this product. I have been going crazy for this product. First of all, I love the smell. I love anything peppermint. So that's a big plus, but I use it on hair washing days. So on the day of, I will massage this into my hair and then I will leave it up in a bun for a couple of hours. And it's time for me to shower and wash my hair. I just rinse it off normally with my shampoo and conditioner and I, I feel good. I feel like it does make a huge difference. I mean, we all know rosemary oil has 
has been scientifically proven to help with hair growth as much as any other hair growth treatments we see out there in the market. Um, again, the peppermint is really soothing to your scalp so nothing hurts or burns or irritates it. And again, there is some castor oil which is great because it adds to sort of the consistency of the oil and helps you apply it onto your scalp without it ever kind of slipping off or dripping off as I should say. Great, let's move on to my acting favorites or my acting sort of products and supplies and tools, equipment that I use to basically try and be an actor in LA. One big, big, amazing find that happened to me over the past month was finding this Elgato green screen on the side of the road. It, I think somebody was dumping it and trying to just get rid of it because they were moving and I saw it from a mile away. I pretty much was like, listen, if, if you're just gonna throw this out, I will gladly take it. And so I picked it up with my own hands and I transported it to my apartment and, uh, and it's in great condition. It's almost barely used. They've cleaned it off, of course, but it's an amazing green screen background. Um, I recommend it if you can find one, if you are a creator, filmmaker, or a TikToker, because you never really know. It can be used for so many different things. It could be an amazing backdrop if you're looking to sort of customize the scenery around you. I, I just, I think it, it, it's a great investment. I'm really glad I found it for free. Another shout out is the blue screen that I use. I use this mainly for self tapes as you might have seen from the rest of my channel when I film something like whether it's monologue or a song that I have to submit for. I really love this blue screen. I do wish I had gotten the bigger sized version of this one but I basically got it on Amazon and I do use it frequently. There's also a gray side which I think can be helpful at times when you don't need the striking blue background but you just need a plain background. So really great investment. It is great for travel. The smaller size is better for travel in my opinion. Um, and it, you know, you just gotta learn how to fold it up because it's kind of a nightmare to fold up. I'm not gonna lie to you. Moving on to my favorite show of January, which has been New Girl. I watched New Girl when it first came out as a little kid, which is like what, 2010, 2012. Um, so I do remember a lot of the major events that have happened in New Girl, but I have since been re-watching it now this past couple of, these past couple of months. And I love it and it's hilarious and it's a good wholesome show to watch if you just want something funny and unserious. It's also very relevant right now as someone in their mid twenties kind of figuring out their life. So my favorite character is Schmidt. I will die on this hill. And then Nick is a close, close second. Could not care any less about Jess. I'm so sorry. Next, moving on to fashion. A shop that I've been obsessed with this past month is Create and Tinker Vintage. Again, I mentioned them in my other video, but it is true, they have an Instagram page, they also have a Depop page, and they're also at the Melrose Trading Post pretty much every Sunday, I'm sure. Um, and their stuff is so cute, and she sells them for such a great price. So I really wanna just shout her out. Love small businesses, I love the whole small business vintage stores out here in LA, and I really think that she is a great person to follow. Her stuff is so cute, it's very nostalgic. She kind of harps on the 90s retro theme of her clothing items and the furniture pieces and the little decor pieces that she chooses. So I really love this shop. I highly recommend it if you, even if you're not in LA, to check out her Depop shop or her Instagram because she has some really cute, just quirky items. Lastly, office, studio, whatever you wanna call it, my workstation. I plan on making a video to sort of go, go more into detail about my workstation and my whole entire PC, camera, ring light situation because it's been a big ordeal, but luckily I've had some really amazing help from my partner um, and I feel really good about my desk situation. I basically got a completely new adjustable standing desk, but it's, it's just great to kind of have the flexibility of adjusting the height of your desk for whatever reason. 
I also really love the color. I think it matches my room really well. I'm glad I went with the lighter version of this desk, but I got it on Amazon for about $225. And I think that's a great deal for adjustable desk. It feels wide enough. It does feel spacious enough. Um, and as somebody who likes to put a lot of stuff on her desk, I think it's a great, it's a great amount. It's a great size. It's just, it's just enough. Lastly, my favorite software of the month is Notion. I'm not a Notion master by any means. I'm still learning, but I do pretty much put a lot of stuff on my Notion now. I pretty much save it all on Notion. I don't have the Notes app on my Windows PC computer, so Notion is great because it's just across all platforms. I don't have to worry about it. I can type in something and then open it up on my Windows. I know a lot of people like to use it as a planner. I mainly use it as um, a note-taking app for ideas, video content, scheduling, planning, things like that more so than using it as an actual calendar. There is a bit of a learning curve. Um, there are a lot of tutorials online nowadays that can kind of help you figure out the templates that you want to use or what would be the most helpful for you for whatever you're looking for. I think Notion has a lot of potential and I think it's just going to keep growing. It's been it's been with me now for months actually, but I've been using it a lot in January to plan and brainstorm content. So it is it's it is deserving of a shout out in my home office tech studio, whatever this category is. That is pretty much it for all of my January favorites. Thank you so much for watching and I will leave links to everything down below. Please subscribe if you haven't and if you've liked this video, leave a thumbs up and comment down below any favorites that you've had in January. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see y'all in the next video. Have a great February and I'll see you next time. Bye.